In this video, we're going to try to answer the question, where are my Android files? When you make an app in Android Studio, it produces hundreds of files, but you probably only explicitly edit uh, a handful. So we're going to look for some of the files we might explicitly edit, like the code file, the, the .kt, the Kotlin file, the layout file, the .xml, the, the build gradle, this is sometimes where you bring in other external uh, software packages, and uh, so that is a thing that you might edit. And then the Android manifest, one thing you might do in the Android manifest is like allow permissions. Does my app, is it allowed to go out and connect to the internet or give my position, what have you. I'm on a Windows system, and when I installed Android Studio, I accepted all the default settings. So under those circumstances, the the Android Studio projects, the folder that holds all your individual projects, is on the C drive, C colon, and then uh, users, and then your specific user, in my case, Blum. And then there was a folder, Android Studio projects. And that's where I'll find Hello World and all the other projects I've been writing. So if I pick one of my projects, like the Hello World project, and go into that folder, I see there a build.gradle, and here I've opened it up in Notepad++ to see what's in there. And there are two build.gradles, and this is not the one that I've ever edited, it's the other one. So I've gone down this one level and found a file, that, I, that has the name of a file that I edit, but it's not the same as the file that I edit, so I have to dig down further. If I go into the app folder within my project, so hello world and then app, I find build gradle again. This time when I open that build gradle and I compare it in Android Studio to the module build gradle, this is one that I have had occasion to edit. I've occasionally brought in libraries like Glide or Picasso, and then I must uh, edit the build gradle to say that I'm going to use those things. So, so this is a file that I have edited. So in, it's in the app folder. If I go down two more levels from app, then into source and then into main, I find a file androidmanifest.xml. And if I open that in Notepad++, and then I compare it to Android Studio, and there the Android manifest is in, in that project pane near the top under manifests. And again, this is a file that I've edited uh, when I need to give myself the, the app uh, permissions to use the internet or do uh, locations and so on. If I go from the main program down into the RES folder, the resources folder, and then into the layout, then I will find activity underscore main.xml. If I open that in Notepad++, I can compare it to what I see in Android Studio if I'm under RES layout and then activity underscore main.xml. There are other files also in resources. Sometimes I want to work with some images and I would put them in drawable. There, there's That's in a case where I'm putting something into drawable rather than explicitly editing it. But under values, there's a strings.xml uh, file that I have sometimes had occasion to edit. Now, if I go back up to main and this time follow the folder Java com example. These are those folders that we know from our package name. Uh, so main java com example hello world and if I dot I'll find main activity dot kt if I open that in notepad plus plus I can compare that to what I see in Android Studio under the Java folder under the com example hello world not nothing to do with test so there are three things there it's the that one that does not say test and under there main activity and this is where i have my Kotlin code so certainly a place that i edit